Hi Aquarius, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for joining the channel. If you enjoy this content, please feel free to leave behind a like or a subscribe. Otherwise, let's jump straight into it, Aqua. This is for Aqua Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or to the cross watches dealing with an Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, okay? Okay, five of wands, six of pentacles, seven of wands. Oh, oh, you're fighting something here, Aquarius. What are you fighting for? Okay, this is powerful. Tower moments. Um, turmoil. Okay, let's have a look at what's happening here for you, Aquarians. Is that a little bit better? Let's start off with the five of wands. Okay, this is dysfunction or disruption. This is also a large group of people um, getting involved in something here. I feel like everything is going to hit you at once here, Aquarius. You're in for a jam-packed October. That's for sure. Now, this could be a fire sign because you do have three wands cards, which can represent an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. Now, the five of wands is this dysfunction and is anything to do with large groups or a lot of opinion or um, not having the ability to build something right now. So there could be some sort of delays, and I feel like these delays might be coming from the tower. Um, this is unforeseen circumstances or unforeseen um, events. Um, something that you hadn't planned, Aquarius, actually is going to come in and throw a spanner into the works. Now, don't fret because you're very, very resilient. Ultimately, things will um, shape up once more, but this is from a higher power. The gods, the universe, the angels um, that's sending you something because it's a shake up. It needs to happen this way. It's going to illuminate something that you haven't yet noticed or you haven't realized or you haven't come across because you do have the tower card underneath here. Now, I feel like if there's anything to do with groups, creative projects, community groups, um, family, friends, it's almost like a lot of people are going to start getting more involved in your business, Aquarius. There's a lot more people coming on board, which does complicate things, okay? Can involve a business partnership, a relationship, a marriage, or a project you've been working towards. Um, it can also be lust, okay? The Tower card can be seen as multiple um, partners, can be seen as secret admirers, can even be cheating, can even be scandals, okay? I do feel like you might have scandals either in, in your life or around the people that you're close to. You also have the Six of Pentacles, so there might be an Earth sign a Taurus, a Capricorn, or Virgo, who is reaching out and seeking your assistance, or it's you that's going to need assistance. The scales are here, so I feel like someone, something's, uh, the scales are being tipped, or someone's tipping the balance, okay? So things could either be a little bit imbalanced, and then they will be restored in the month of October, but I feel like there's someone here, I don't think it's you, I think it's someone else who is going to seek your help, your advice, your comfort, Aquarius. This person is desperate to reach out to you or desperate for your assistance. It could also be um, finance, uh, so financial loans, um, financial assistance, the government, um, documentation, paperwork. If you're waiting for those things, I feel like if there's delays in the beginning of the month, in the mid-month, these things should shape up and you'll hear back from these organizations or get your legality sorted or in order once again. So more correspondence is occurring here with that eight of ones which sits below. But before that, the seven of ones is coming up. Look, I think for those of you that are dealing with a fire sign, those of you that are dealing with a fire sign, there's fire with the tower card here. Um, if you are dealing with a fire sign, I feel like this person is acting up, okay? They're blowing up. Um, big explosion could be of jealousy, greed, feelings, emotions, lust, passion, anger. There's some sort of explosive, um, explosive feelings, okay? Either yours or this person's. Doesn't necessarily have to be a fire sign, though. It can be any sign you're dealing with, Aqua. But this person is feeling like they need to, I feel like they need to just explode, okay? There's something here, it's, it's, you've reached tipping point or they've bottled this up for too long, it's time to expose it all. And there's someone feeling backed up in the corner, someone feeling like they're defenseless, someone feeling like they need to defend every last bit of themselves, their honor, their dignity here, Aquarius, or you needing to defend that part of yourself uh, with someone else here. And I think it's this tower, there's there's a moment here, um, it could be in career, um, there could be setbacks here, 
more so if you're working with a collaborative project, I think, or even if you're working with another person, this could even be in relationships. Um, you might suddenly become very jealous or this person might become very jealous because of the project you're working on, the person you're involved with. You know, it can apply to any aspect of your life, whether career or love, etc. But I do see with the Tower card, it is um, explosive feelings, okay? Everything is coming out there. There's, no, there's nowhere to run or hide, Aquarius. It's going to be, all be exposed. Um, but look, sometimes we need that Tower. We need to see the contrast because if we, we don't see a contrast, how do we know if something is going really well or it's going really poorly? Sometimes we need that contrast um, or we need to be faced with the truth. Uh, but I feel like for some of you, it could indicate a very electric connection that's being formed with someone else. Maybe this is spilling um, spilling on from last month where you did potentially have a beautiful new romance. Um, I feel like things are getting very intense with this person, if that's the case. Um but anything you've worked towards with the Tower card, unforeseen circumstances, um, or something you haven't planned, you, you you won't see. You didn't see this coming, Aqua. Okay, you won't see it. It's going to be a complete surprise. So, big surprises, shocking revelations, maybe something that you didn't see coming is actually right in your path, and you you can't avoid it. It needs to be tackled head on needs to be addressed, could be an uncomfortable work situation, you might be letting someone go, it might be uncomfortable moments, okay, that come up in October, um, but if you power through them, I promise you that months after will be very, very good, and eventually things will solve themselves, because you do have the Eight of Wands, which follows right after, and this is a very reassuring card, it does speak of, it can be signs, synchronicities, and symbols, so you might have a few signs or synchronies, um, synchronicities in the lead up of the tower moment. So possibly red flags even, um, or things that don't add up or things that, you know, it's almost like the universe poking and prodding at you. It's been nagging at you that you have to do something um, or accomplish something or address something and you've put it off for too long, Aqua. Well, whether you like it or not, unfortunately, this is going to occur for you. Okay, it's all going to come out there eventually. But it can also be about um, smitten energy, okay, the arrows of love. Um, it can also be about correspondence and big news coming in around you. Um, if you're waiting for news from a, um, a workplace, from finances, um, contracts, etc., you will get these news. Um, it, it's almost like because you're the swords and you've got a blindfold on, you're not seeing something here, but it's going to come right at you. Um, there's no avoiding this, okay? So if it's... If it's like someone that's been liking you and you don't know how to tell them to, you know, you feel it coming, but you don't know how to tell them to back off or whatever, that person is going to come forward and confess their love. Um, if it's a work person you've been trying to avoid or a contract you don't want to get for work or, you know, you've been trying so hard to close a deal, um, it might just fall through. But it's, it's not always worst case scenario. That's not the case. The Tower card can bring good or bad experiences to us. Um, but essentially what it is, is that the notion of you not expecting something. So big surprises, like the Eight of Wands is firing right at you. But here you are, you've got your blindfold on Aqua, you're not seeing it yet. Um, or you haven't opened your eyes or something hasn't been illuminated to you as yet. And then suddenly that thunder, that lightning will strike and hit and everything is illuminated. And then what you felt will come true. And the reason I say that is because the Eight of Swords, she's in a precarious situation here, yet she can set herself free. So she doesn't have to be confined to these swords. Her legs are free to move around. Although a part of her is restrained, there there's always options. And I feel like this might be the universe's way of telling you there's options um, how to deal with something here, or there's different avenues to take. Um, or even if one thing didn't work, Aquarius, it doesn't mean that something else won't work a different, a different way. Um, a different avenue, a different attempt. So maybe this is the universe's way of, of, you know, telling you to pick yourself up and dust yourself off. It, it could be that as well, but there might also be an air sign around you that's feeling, you know, shut off or feeling like they don't have movement around you or they want to see things progress, but they're not sure how to address that. Again, I don't feel like this. It's either you or it's someone very close to you, a parent, a lover, a spouse, someone you're interested in, someone you work with, a, a very good friend or a sibling. 
they don't know how to express themselves and this is the only way they know how to do it and unfortunately it's going to be in a very surprising or explosive um manner okay it's 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 one extremity to the other it's not it's like going from zero to 100 okay in the space of a month or a week or a day or an hour whatever it is that's happening around them whatever sort of behavior they're showcasing towards you um, but this could be you as well Aquarius because it is coming to you so it's either around you this behavior is coming from you or it's very much around your intimate circle of friends or family so you will feel these effects uh, in this period of October. I will leave it at that though Aquarius.